around as the hearing for students get in place. Hearing some students, just put on your hard hats and grab a shovel. We're going to have some fun here in just a few minutes, but the adults have to talk first, <laughs> as always. <laughs> Mandy, if you'd like to come up. Andy Conkle uh, is our board chair for the LB Community Foundation, and she's going to kick it all off today. <laughs> Welcome to the future of Macintosh Park. On behalf of the LBN Community Foundation, we're glad you're here to join us today in the snow. <laughs> I'm Mandy Conkel, Chair of the Foundation Board, and I welcome you to this groundbreaking ceremony for the new splash pad and, splash pad and playground. Say that five times. Thanks to the incredible generosity of Christy and Tony DeNicholas, two million gift to Albion, the sounds of joy will fill this park as children and their families splash and play beginning this summer. Joining me today are special guest students from Harrington Elementary School. They help choose the play structures for the splash pad and the playground and will assist in the groundbreaking ceremony. Also with us today are Albion Mayor Victoria Garcia Snyder, Albion City Manager Haley Snyder, First Precinct Councilperson Donovan Williams, Nikki Bittner from White and Associates Project Contractors, Shane Williamson, Foundation Executive Director, the Macintosh Park Re Re Revitalization Funds come from Christy and Tony's multi-million dollar gift to the Community Foundation. Former Albion residents, the long-term supporters of the city, the Nicholas pledged the matching gift to assist the community in revitalizing and transforming key assets in the city of Albion, mainly focusing on parks, recreation, children, and families. The gift was established as two funds to honor their parents, Beth and John Sauer, and Carol and the late Guy DeNicola. Now, it is with great pleasure that I get to introduce Mayor Victoria Garcia Snyder to say a few words. Thank you, Mac Mandy. Macintosh Park, named for Albion's first black council person, will be revitalized to make it one of the town's premier parks. Creation of a state-of-the-art splash pad and playground, restroom structure, shelter, landscaping, amenities, and security are necessary to provide equitable facilities to all families and children in all city neighborhoods. We are proud to be the recipient of the DeNicola gift to make this possible. In addition to my position as mayor, I am proud to call Christy and Tony friends. Working with them to help transform areas of their hometown has been a joy. Their commitment to improve the lives of Albion residents show the deep love they share for the city and for their parents for whom the gift funds were established at the Community Foundation. It is with pride that I participate in this groundbreaking ceremony today made possible by my friends, Christy and Tony. Thank you for this gift for all of us. Now I would like to introduce Donovan Williams, Albion's first precinct council person. Thank you, Mayor Snyder. It is a great day for the city of Albion and especially for the first precinct. This total renovation of McIntosh Park will not only provide recreational opportunities for the children, and families in Albion, it will also, it will allow us to take even more pride in our town and neighborhood. I'm delighted that this underutilized park will take place as one of Albion's premier recreational facilities. Thank you to the DeNicolas for making this possible. Thank you. In addition to the DeNicolas, I would like to thank the Calhoun County Commissioners and the Cram family for their matching funding, the Gift Oversight Committee members for their leadership, Bill Dobbins, Caster Concepts, White and Associates for all the hard work on planning the future construction of park facilities and all of those who have donated to make this dream a reality for our children and families. 
Plop it forward a little bit. Ready? Everybody got a little, just a small scoop. Just a small one. That's all right. Here we go. One, two, three. Woohoo! 